So, boys, what if I told you that uh, pendulums, we have our own window, right? Except it doesn't suck. It's called Jaugen. Oh, yeah. Jaugen, Beatrice, Celine. New crazy pendulum combo. I didn't even think of it. Our boys at Ghost Corp thought of it. Shout out to them. A collaboration video right now with Trip Gaming and Ghost Corp. A new up-and-coming YouTube channel. Go give them a subscribe. And if you're ready for this crazy combo, smash the subscribe button. Smash that like button. Now let's get straight into it. This combo is going to make you guys change the way you look at pendulums forever. So without further ado, let's go, baby. Before we get into it, check out TripGaming.com for the best playmats in the game, custom pendulum mats. Check out P Patreon for better pendulum training and a little introduction from our boys at Ghost Court. I just wanted to give a special thanks to the pen god for showing everyone our combo that makes every single deck in this game a buy. Anyways, subscribe to our channel, The Ghost Corp, and I'll see you later. Let's go! Let's go into a crazy Celine Jaugen Beatrice combo utilizing all three of them to do a crazy unstoppable board a lot of you guys cry about shadal being overpowered no shadal's absolutely ass it, you guys are just scared about a little floodgate in window right well you have your own little window that you search every single time and you don't only do window macabre you do with you do your own window in jaugen backed up by five negates and a mascarina so that's just an auto win that absolutely is by far the best board in all of 2020 uh, by far. It's gonna blow your mind right here. It's very easy to do as well. We can do it every single time. And I opt to main deck one Jaugen in this build because uh, going second, Jaugen still doesn't affect to destroy your cards. Now, whether this is the best build or not, it is definitely a build worthy of trying because Jaugen Pendulum is gonna be worthy of greatness. We don't activate the institution there, just activate server first. And again, big shout out to Ghost Corp. Ghost Corp sent me this video. I'm like, yo, this is sick. We did a collab together creating this deck. Uh, so big shout out to them. Let's, let's fucking do it, boys. This is amazing. Uh, I'm going to do some cool combos here. I don't have a low skill, as you guys see. Uh, look at this. So I'm going to activate Mighty Master on scale. I'm going to pop my own Servant to put the Servant in the scale by Servant's effect. I think there's a lot of plays like that that you guys might not know. But if you guys don't know them, check out the Patreon. I show you guys crazy. If you guys don't know how to play Pendulum, just sign up for the Patreon. I show you guys how to do these cool tricks. There's lots of tricks with Pendulums when you're missing scales. Lots of tricks. Popping your own Jackal to give Institution counter stuff like that. Another trick right here. Cross Sheep. No one plays this card. I don't know why. Cross Sheep Vortex. Get yourself a free Selene. Completely free Selene. Free Selene for nothing. Free Vortex for nothing. Selene effect. Bring on a Jackal. Now, the way this deck is built, it's like Beatrice Turbo. It's a very, like, big brain type of deck. Beatrice Turbo. How do you do Beatrice Turbo? By utilizing Souls, Jackal. You always have Beatrice no matter what. Because of Souls, Abductor searches it, Jackal, etc. I would not recommend this deck if you cannot afford the Souls. Because it's a big part of the deck. Now, we can send the Jalgen. And after that, we're going to link into another Selene. We're going to do a big brain play here. We're gonna uh, summon Celine. I'm going. I have. You know, I'm actually gonna pendulum summon just for one card. I did all this without pendulum summoning, which is hilarious. We're gonna pendulum for one card. We're gonna go with the Masquerina with the both of them. We have to free up some space. We're gonna activate the effect of Magister, Magister Money Master, and on their turn, we're gonna summon out the Jaugen. Now look at this board. You have a Vortex Dragon in the gate, Mighty Master in the gate, Magist after Mighty Master in the gate, Celine, Magister in the gate, bring a Jackal or a Reflection, whatever you want. And Masquerina, in case they attempt to attack the Jaugen. So the only way for them to out a Jaugen, or a Winda, per se, would be if they attacked into it. But it, you get this board so consistently every single game because of the way the deck is just built. It's just Jaugen, or Beatrice Turbo, Jaugen Turbo, Selene Turbo. So if they try to attack into the Jaugen, use Masquerina to bounce it. If they try to use an effect to, like, Spiral Tough, you negate it with Vortex or Jackal, which you can bring with Magister. The Jaugen is protected by the whole field. It's like a chessboard. Where your king, Jaugen, or queen, whatever it is, not discriminating here, is protected by all the pieces around it. It's a protected Jaugen that is completely unstoppable. And then on your turn, you bounce back your own Master or Magister, and you pendulum summon and attack for game. So this is a super cool way to win. Uh, after siding, if you face a, a trap deck, we put in another card, which I'm going to show you now. So Jaugen, or you could also play... So this is a deck list now for this, Jaugen, or... Medium of the Ice Barrier. Medium of the Ice Barrier is kind of like Jaugen except for for Trap decks. So Jaugen destroys all combo decks, but the Medium of the Ice Barrier destroys Trap decks. So when you play a Trap deck, you just substitute one for the other. Playing Jaugen second is still fantastic. With all the way Mighty Master is searchable, you now have a different option with Jaugen. So with Jaugen, if your opponent has a gigantic field, you can opt to 
uh, if you're super late with it, jogging could be sent to the graveyard with Beatrice if you don't have a way to clear the whole board. And then after jogging on the field, you just easily make Celine, Celine special at jogging, destroy the entire board. And then your opponent still can't play. And then on your turn, you just win. So having Joggen gives you versatility of both going first and second that Winda does not. So Joggen is actually a better Winda in that regard. Hence Pendulum best deck. Hence it always has been the best deck. Hence let's get into the deck. Oh, wow, baby. So that's a Joggen. And like I said, for comp for chop decks, substitute with the medium with ice barrier. Uh, we got the Servant. We got the Magister. We got the Reflection. We got uh, Triple Abductor. Abductor is very big in this, okay? If you guys notice, we have one, only one of each spellbook card. The reason being is you want to ensure to get... Uh, the level sixes. So abductor is a big normal summon in this deck, okay? Because you play lots of Cerberus, because Cerberus gets the jackal, and lots of big institution count, you basically want to search the the jackal easily with Cerberus institution, etc. So a lot of times you want to normal the abductor. Hence, we only play one of each bubble card. You normal the abductor, search the souls. You don't need three souls because abductor is your normal summon most of the time in this build, specifically in this build, to get the souls and souls will send the jackal, and you're gonna have another jackal or chronograph. So very easily you get the Beatrice. Triple Chrono, one time gazer, uh, triple serve, double jack, one mini jackal. One thing I want to say about mini jackal, you guys kind of have to play it. It makes triple institution, triple surfers, triple abductor, and triple allure. Those are 12 cards. It makes those 12 cards way better. It makes all of those cards way better. Way better. Because they, it, the mini jackal kind of completes the 12. Allure, sometimes you don't have a target, you just search one with abductor or institution, you now have a target. Cerberus, it makes it better to have more targets on the deck with it. Institution, now have a target to get it. Abductor, have a target to get it. It just makes all of them better. Hence, one is great. Triple Mighty Master. Double Souls. You don't need three if you're normal summoning Abductor because you're playing five, not three. Does that make sense? Because Abductor is getting it. Like I said, Abductor is the normal summon most of the time, so just because I have one of each. One upstart, one void, triple Desires. Now, with Desires and Jaugen, if Desires banishes Jaugen, you abandon the Jaugen combo and game plan, and instead you just play normal Pendulum. Desires going second is too important. Because against boards, let's say you have three or four interruptions, Pendulum could destroy most three to four interruption boards. But without Desires, it's more difficult. It's way easier with Desires because it's just free. If you have one extra card in Pendulum, you kind of just auto win, to be honest. Unless your opponent has seven negates, so like a mirror match. So Desires is kind of mandatory. If you banish the Jogging, it's fine. Just play normal Pendulum at that point. Triple Allure, Triple Mastery, Triple Institution. Like I said, with one mini Jackal, Institution becomes a very, very good card. Without the mini Jackal, Institution honestly sucks. I would not play Institution at all if I don't play Jackal. That's what I learned. With Jackal, it's a very good card, the mini one. I play one Citadel. It's good sometimes to search with Reflection or Mastery as a spell card. If you open four monster cards and one Mastery, most of the time, Mastery wants to search Citadel. All right. Side deck, as we discussed. Meet in the Ice Barrier. If your opponent controls four or more cards, free special summon, that doesn't, card doesn't matter. Your opponent can only activate one spell or trap each turn. If you activate that, backed up by five negates with against a trap deck or a sky striker or a spell deck, you just auto win. It's the substitute. If it's not, if Jalgen doesn't destroy the deck, uh, medi uh, medium of the ice barrier destroys the deck. So it's like you substitute one for the other. They all destroy every deck in the world. One or the other destroys every deck in the world. Triple ruler, one reboot, triple lightning storm, two evenly matched. Evenly matched is a little bit overrated. You will go to your battle phase just for it to get solemn judgment hit. Lightning storm does the same thing, but you don't waste your battle phase. Uh, so yeah, I prefer lightning storm over evenly. A triple mine, double village, triple uh, Celine, one Crowley, one Breaker, one Cross Sheep. As you guys saw in the combo, you need to play Cross Sheep, plain and damn simple. It's just too good. Mascarena, Appaloosa, Phoenix, Unicorn, Boil Sword, Saruja. Saruja comes up a lot. Now, a lot of you guys don't notice or you realize uh, a, nine, a lot of times when you have a lot of monsters on board. You guys saw it right here. I had six monsters on board without a pendulum summon. I could have had five negates without a pendulum summon, but. Saryusha so comes up a lot for that. All you need is, like, especially when you have, let's say, a dead desires, a dead mastery, a dead soul, something like that. Saryusha so could put all the back. Saryusha so essentially says draw four cards, let alone forget what you put back. The cards you already have in your hand are useless, but draw four. So it literally just says draw four cards. What? Like the card? That's amazing. That's, that's, that's remarkable. In Pendulum, this card's amazing. So it's always great to have one of these. It always ensures that y your brick hands are never actually brick. If you can just store enough counters and monsters in the field, it kind of unbreaks everything and allows you to play after that. Uh, and then the fact that you can special summon a myth on the gate after you do that is very important. All as well as drawing the secret village. One Beatrice. Also, another thing with Sayusha is if you don't have the level sixes, Sayusha helps you get the Jaugen as well. Uh, one Beatrice part of the combo. Absolute and Vortex. Now, a lot of you guys ask me, especially on stream, yo, Trip, what is the best substitute for souls? The best substitute is play random cards on the deck. Doesn't matter. The only reason souls is there is to flood the graveyard, 
for Selene. If Selene wasn't a card, I would play zero Magician Souls in my deck. It's only there because of Selene. Now, I would absolute, prioritizing Absolute Vortex is the best substitute. I would play double Reflection, maybe triple Reflection. That's the best substitute. And going to Vortex no matter what. Souls floods the graveyard. The only other way to flood the graveyard is Vortex. If you don't play Souls, if you don't go Vortex on, on turn one, you're not utilizing Selene. And if you don't utilize Selene, your deck's gonna, your board's going to suck. And if your board's going to suck, your deck sucks. And you're just doing a bad, you're putting a bad name on Pendulum, and you're putting a bad name on me. A lot of you guys say, oh, well, Pendulum doesn't top anything because you guys are absolute morons with your deck builds. If you play my deck the way I play it, you'll top everything. Anyways, that's the video, guys. Absolutely amazing combo. I love it, the combo myself. Big shout out to Ghost Corp. Go give them a subscribe. And if you love what you see, subscribe as well. We're almost at 30,000 subscribers. If you guys love the training, go check out Patreon, where I do a crazy amount of Pendulum training every day for you guys. And lastly, lastly, I did not say this at the very beginning of the video. I want to say this for the very end, just for everyone who's still watching. I will announce this in my tomorrow video, but a little sneak peek for you guys. I am now releasing a special Servant of Endymion playmat, which is only available for the next nine days. A special surprise of 10 days. I showed it on my stream. I didn't want to say this at the very beginning of today. I thought a cool idea. I'll reward everyone who is still watching until the end of the video. So if you're still watching... This playmat is going to be available for the next nine days. It's not even available on the website, only on the PayPal. So check that out. It'll be one of the links down below. I will make it up a whole, uh, I'll bring this whole mat up tomorrow, tomorrow's video. But for the ones who are still watching, an extra sneak peek for you guys before I announce it to the world. It's available for the next nine days. Absolutely amazing mat. And yeah, I hope you have the video. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.